Want to see the definition of football malpractice? Anthony Richardson started the game looking about as good as he's ever looked. First play from scrimmage goes for 32. Steichen calls for a quarterback draw right up the middle on third and six. He stays healthy here, but why put your quarterback in danger? Taylor finds the end zone to take 7-0 lead. First play of the next drive is a 28-yard pass to Pittman again. Richardson runs here, takes a shot instead of sliding, and fumbles. He injures his hip, and Joe Flacco comes in. Of course, Joe looked elite as usual. Now, if you were a coach with a quarterback who was just injured running the football and has a prior injury history, you would think to just be careful with your quarterback. Run the football with your $42 million running back, or maybe run some quick slants. Basically anything, but put your franchise player in harm's way. Well, Shane Steichen does the exact opposite. He calls for an RPO. Richardson tries to make an awkward slide, but takes a shot and leaves the game. I grew up with Andrew Luck as my quarterback. I watched them put him in danger week after week. Richardson obviously needs to take care of his body on the field, but it's also a coach's duty to call plays that keeps his players out of harm's way. And this play calling isn't new. When Asked about Richardson's running, Shane Steichen said, Shoot, are you going to limit Steph Curry from shooting three-pointers? Shane Steichen is going to ruin Anthony Richardson. The play calling didn't change after his injury last season. Why would we expect a change after this injury? There's only one course of action for a coach guilty of malpractice, and Steichen just demonstrated exactly that.